this next talk is about how to organize better in-person meetings. He is Lukas Nussbaum. And please wait to get a microphone before you ask any questions or make any comments. OK, thank you. So uh, first, uh, could someone try to connect to Gobi to see if it works? The IP is there. OK, so it works. Uh, so Tim agreed to take notes, but please help him uh, by editing directly the document on Gobi. So the topic of this both is how to organize meta, uh, better in-person in meetings. So it's kind of a meta both. Um, so for three years now, I think, we have had meetings organized by the region in Spain of Extremadura. Um, the city of Munich, uh, of, M of München, might sponsor, well, said they will sponsor and organize meetings as well. But those meetings cost a lot of money, a lot of time, especially for the local team that has to organize them. I don't know if Cesar is here. I can't see him. OK. So yeah, so Cesar really does an, a really great job in organizing, in organizing those meetings. And it also costs lo lots of uh, CO2 with all those flights going everywhere in Europe. So those meetings have two goals. First is to have fun with other Debian people. And the other one is, of course, to get things done during those meetings. So the first goal, I think that everybody will agree that we meet that goal. But the other one is really less easy to, to get right. So the goal of this buff, uh, the points we will reach at the end of the buff, is basically um, what are the, some, well, to find, to find some recipes together about what people should do during buffs when some problems arise. So first, who already uh, was at one of those meetings? OK, that's quite a lot of people. That's nice. So which? So maybe what we could do is simply that each of us who already was in one of those meetings uh, start by describing which meeting it was, uh, what from his point of view worked well, and what didn't work so well. And <laughs> Basically, if he liked it, if he, if, would, if he would go again, or if it's just a loss of time, or, yeah. So who wants to start? Do you want, yeah, okay, Andreas. <laughs> Hello, I was uh, joining oh, two. Just, uh, the, the, the others, please take notes, because I won't be able to type while staying. Uh <laughs> I uh, joined two meetings, which was uh, basically, it was called a Linux day and Edu day and science, so this um, stuff meetings, and we met uh, in 2007, in November, and in this year, in March, beginning of March. And it was a really great meeting. We, we had um, uh, done a lot of stuff. There was uh, a lot of food, <laughs> a lot of fun. And uh, the only thing which was a little bit weak was the network connection. And, but we somehow found a way. I just want to mention that um, Debian Edu, or called Linux people, do also so-called developer gatherings, mostly in uh, Norway, <laughs> sometimes in Germany. I also joined two of these meetings. It was also quite successful, quite similar to the Extremadura meetings, but uh, well, I would say not so well equipped, so the, the accommodation was on, in, in schools and metros on the floor. But anyway, you get something to, to eat, you get a place to sleep, and you can work fully for what you want to get done. And were there some problems that, were well, some things that disappointed you about those meetings? No, no. The, the, no. the, the only problem <laughs> might be the, the long traveling distance. Mm. You need uh, one hour for, to reach this point, and uh, one day to reach this point, and one day back. and. This is a kind of a big effort. Um, I'm Rhonda, and I've been in 2006 to the I-18N meeting, which was to 
my opinion, quite a successful one. There were quite a lot of talks going on with uh, people from different countries speaking about uh, different special uh, requirements like some font session where it was discussed for the font problems with Tamil, which is, has quite a deep impact and probably I don't think that it's mm -hmm. integrated in the DI because of problems related to that. that um, yes, that's more or less of it. it. It was really quite nice and um, the, it, it was to some degree the starting point of Juro, the IATN server, and all the tools surrounding it. Okay. Someone else? Well, who raised uh, his hands in the beginning? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you maybe you're allowed to disagree with uh, Andreas, and maybe even no. <laughs> okay, hello. Uh, so I was at the QA uh, Xmadura meeting in 2007, I think, mm -hmm. and basically I can uh, confirm what Andreas said. So for me it was very well. For me it was the first time that it was on this kind of meeting, and I found it very very intense. So uh, hacking basically from morning until late uh, late at night, and. Um, I found it very well organized and I'm very, very grateful for the people from Extremadura to make this possible. <laughs> for me, the only, and here I only have to agree with Andreas, the only negative point is that it's quite uh, strenuous also for, for travel. So basically you, you lose two complete days for, for traveling and you have two or three days at a meeting where you can work. So there is some, some, some kind of overhead involved, unfortunately. Just to add um, that to my eyes, uh, it seems to be very efficient to be in the, in the same room. I, many things can be done in a shorter time. As you said, it's intense. Uh, it would have taken months uh, for taking some decisions by email. And mm -hmm. when you are in a single room, then things, uh, even if, if, if not everything is finished, you know what you have to do for the, the days after. So it's, it's extremely efficient, actually. Someone else? Actually, some things that maybe I didn't make it very clear. The, the goal is not to criticize the way it was, it was organized by the local team. But, well, if there's a problem with that, it's nice to tell them so you, people can just uh, improve. But it's more about our way of working during those meetings. Because, well, when we talk about my experience with that, so I went to two QA, QA meetings in 2006. I think, Ralph, it was in 2006 that you were here. Yeah. December 2006, yeah. And in 2007, last year. And during both meetings, um, I had the impression that some people that came could just have spared two days of travel because most of what they did was just what they usually do on, on Debian at home, from home. And it was a bit, uh, well. <laughs> well, I think in principle you often could do this alone, but if you are at home, there are so many things which distract you from doing anything. So if you would just at home could hide in a cave or something like this, uh, where some food is delivered, you could maybe be uh, as effective as, uh, as you are there. But I think it's, it's a big difference b uh, between being at home or staying at such a meeting. Mm. Yeah. Well, on, on the other hand, I agree that it's nice to be uh, um, I mean, without external perturbations uh, for a few days to work on Debian. But also, it would be, I think that we don't really make the most of the opportunity where we meet together and during the QA meetings, for example, there, are not really, there were not really lots of uh, talks or discussions. Uh, it was a bit. I was a bit surprised by that. That it's, it's really hard to get people to to talk about what they are doing and uh, how people could help. And yeah, so I don't. Frankly, I don't see it like that. So I found that at the 2006, it really was 2006 QA meeting. There was quite some discussion. People presented what they did, and for me, it was very. 
quite, yes, in fact, it was very fruitful because from the discussions there was a lot of synergy and new new ideas mm -hmm. coming up. And um, so for me, it's not only this thing that at home I would never be able to uh, hack 12, 12 hours in a row on, uh, on Debian. It's also that you are together with the other people, you see them face to face, you discuss with them, and that, that makes these things really, really worthwhile. Well, on the other hand, you were uh, one of those talking during that meeting. So, well, in fact, it was it was Fabio, but we had a, we had a common yeah. work to present. Yeah. Um, someone else want to mention something? Um, while I wasn't um, at the QA meetings uh, and stuff in Extremadura. Um, I, for example, ex ex um, attended an earlier QA meeting some years ago in Darmstadt, mm -hmm. and I think um, the, the the main problem that you um, that you mentioned is that if you don't have anything to do with the others, if you just work on your own stuff, then the travel might be. Uh, yeah, costing more time than it in the end brings you. But um, if you have um, projects, uh, current projects or planned projects um, that you want to do in a group, I think it can really help to um, kickstart, for example, a project in a group like this. So um, I think my point is, um, first of all, it can help if you have a plan beforehand what you actually want to do and look um, at the plan and judge whether it actually involves group activities or just everyone sits on their computer and makes their own stuff, uh, which can be, for, uh, for example, a problem during uh, real life bug splashing parties um, because everyone just works on their bug and they all talk via IC. Um, and the other thing is, you always have an element of, of chaos, because, I mean, we are not always the best of planners, and sometimes something great can come of a meeting, uh, because some people uh, find a new project or find a new idea in the discussions uh, there, and sometimes it just fails, but that's not... That doesn't mean that you shouldn't try. Mm. Well, you mentioned bug washing parties, and I felt that during the first QA meeting, well, there was there was some discussion. I'm not saying that everything was just um, uh, was just wrong, but most of the meeting was actually some kind of big bug washing party, and <laughs> this was a bit well. If you if you ever been to a bug washing party, you expect to be it to be like that. I didn't expect the meetings to be like that, actually. That's, uh, <laughs> Someone else want to say something? It, it is just an idea that has been mentioned at the last uh, session I attended is um, several people were concerned by the, and me included, <laughs> but several people were concerned by the carbon dioxide uh, ex experience we make by taking the plane. Mm -hmm. And a suggestion was made to maybe found a um, train and even gather people in train that would make people to start the work even before mm -hmm. arriving at the meeting. And um, okay, from a logistic point of view, it <laughs> might not be easy to do. But that's not uh, a too bad idea if people travel, for example, half a day together, they, they can prepare the meeting, actually. Because one of the things that I would say, uh, it might have be better to have more, uh, a more precise scale about what had to be achieved. That, but on the other hand, it's good to, to be able to, to go to whatever is relevant for the, for the, for the group or for the project. That, uh, sometimes it's it's nice to be efficient from the first day because we don't have uh, jet lags and we don't have such when it's in Europe. So maybe uh, a schedule is interesting. Uh, 
Yeah, German, German people have this kind of free software bus. I don't know if some people are familiar with it, but where they go to conference by stopping in all the cities to pick up someone and then, well, I, we could ask Cesar about that, but I'm sure <laughs> that's quite... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> well, one thing that one thing that worked quite fair, quite well during the last year QA meeting is that at several points we just someone uh, was just asking everybody to say a few words about what he was doing and this allowed at some, some times to, to discover that two people were actually working on similar things and to get them to work together. So doing some kind of um, well, one round table at, to, to discuss. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it might be um the fact that the QA group in, in particular is not very well structured or organized uh, all the time, not just on such meetings, probably doesn't help uh, by, uh, f for organizing. So um, it's probably a good idea to, as mentioned by others, uh, to really have some kind of schedule to have some kind of topics, to have some kind of activities that uh, necessarily mean that people discuss something, like having buffs or stuff like that. Um, because otherwise, uh, no, no one might take the ini initiative uh, at the meeting itself, so uh, preparation can probably help, help there. Do you think that we should work on getting the QA group more organized, or do you think it's fine like it is now? And um, I, I don't think that's a primary goal, should be a primary goal, but I think if we have a meeting, then someone needs to take the initiative and assume some kind of don't know, a leader position or a organizer position at least for this meeting and try to f find some structure. Because what, uh, because what works well um, during, during the year on ISE um, and uh, on the mailing list doesn't necessarily work in real life. Someone else? Yeah, Frederick. Yes, and another point that I found nice is that at two of the meetings I attended, actually there were several groups meeting in the same place at the same moment. At the first Debian C CDD meetings, there were there were there was at the same time an FAI meeting. So it's always interesting to to see the habits and the ways other groups are working. Mm -hmm. At the second times, it was both Debian Science and Debian Edu in the same time. And so, yes, it's interesting not to have one single group when the size of the group allows it. Someone else? Well, maybe we can, well, actually I, I talked uh, with Andreas during lunch and uh, he came up with the idea of um, using um, meetings over video conference using Ekiga and uh, some special server. So do people think that it's, uh, do, we, do people think that we need that in addition to the usual way we organize meetings on IRC, some, some teams do that? Or do you think it's just useless? Some of the biggest benefits for any kind of uh, real life meetings are actually outside the schedule. So if you're only gonna do multi-user video links and, and then you get uh, breakages at either end and you get interruptions of the flow. We had a meeting in Microsign for the IAT and N teams and some of the contributors were trying to help with the meeting and um, give their opinions via IRC. But breakages in the networking made that very, very difficult. 
sometimes you just need to be in the same place. Mm -hmm. um, what, have, what we've found with the MDebian meetings is that if you keep it to a, a very focused group of people, and actually make a, a smaller group who all have the same ideas for the same time period, you do get a much more beneficial um, uh, sort of outcome. Okay, I don't know what. Um, uh, does someone else want to raise a point or? Okay, then uh, I think, oh, uh, in the back. Hi, wow, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know if Craigan is here, but he and I were talking yesterday night and he suggested that uh, so this is in regards to the to this, I guess the main DebConf tracks. Um, anyway, that we could have more lightning talks. Say begin the day with lightning talk signups. I guess there were only so many signups for uh, this evening's, but if there were more of them, I think we might be able to hear, get a bigger audience for little snippets of what different people are doing, and it might be nice to to have. Sorry, can you repeat? That? Yeah, sure. So, uh, Craigan last night suggested that you might start every, uh, start every day at DebConf with half an hour that is four five-minute talks um, done, by, done by people signing up on the wiki as lightning talks. Mm -hmm. So then you can hear more voices from people briefly to know what they're doing. Do you mean for DebConf or for Deb... So it's maybe more suitable for DebCamp? Just me. Well, I'm thinking it's for, I'm thinking for DebConf, I guess to sort of maybe that brings some DebCamp flavor to it, but I think that there's enough there's a lot of people here, both that I want to know what they're doing and who I might want to tell what I am doing. Hmm. Times however many people there are. And you think that people would be interested in talking like while well, doing lightning, lightning talks from time to time about what they are doing? I'm sure so. that some people would. I'm also sure that some people wouldn't. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's something that we could do next year. Yeah. Anything else? Well, I think let's go back to hacking. <laughs> okay. Thank you.